In this guide, I'm going to be using my phone to set up Zoom, although you could do this on a computer. Open your App Store and search for Zoom. If you're on an Android phone, this will be Google Play. Once you find it, simply cl click the download. I've downloaded this app before, so your icon could look different. It shouldn't take too long to download. And once downloaded, simply click on open. We're going to sign up for a new account. But if you already have an account, you can go straight to sign in. You must use an email address you can access as you need to verify your account. So simply enter your email, your first name, last name, and then agree to the terms of service. This will then send an email to your account. Remember to check your junk folder in case it goes there. So open your emails and when the email comes in, you'll find a link to activate your account. So simply click on this and accept the usual cookie information. Then you'll need to create a password. Create one that you'll remember, but the minimum requirement is eight characters, at least one letter, one number, and a mixture of lower and uppercase. You'll see the requirements go green as you type them in. You'll need to enter your password a second time in the confirm password box to make sure that you have it correct. Then when you're done, click continue. That's your account created. You don't need to continue with steps two or three. All you have to do now is find the Zoom app on your phone and open it. Once you open it for the first time, press sign in and enter the email and password that you set up. This will be remembered for the future so you shouldn't have to enter it again. So once you enter your password, click sign in. I'm going to allow the app to send me notifications, to access my calendar and to work with Siri, but you're free to make your own decisions. And that's it. You're now ready to join a meeting or you could even host one yourself with family and friends. To join a meeting, you need to know the meeting ID and sometimes a password for extra security. You can also see options to mute your audio and video, although you can do this in the middle of a meeting. I've been sent a meeting ID and password for an account at the moment, so I'm going to join one now. If your meeting doesn't require a password, then the next step won't appear. But in this case, there is a password. You can see I have an option to allow my camera to be switched on. And I can choose to join with or without audio. Clicking at the bottom of your screen will allow the menu bar to come up and you can see there's options to stop the video to hide my ugly mug um, and options to mute the audio if you wish to be silent and don't want your background noise to pick up. And that's it. That's all you need to know.